Good morning, YouTube. We are back. We are at a uh, the new is property. Uh, we had showed y'all a video not that long ago where we came in. to this big ass place and uh it's an armory and they were just having trouble keeping up with it so if you watched another video with this one you saw we had to do a lot of hedge trimming and all that uh and just get it back in shape well we've only been here a few times since and we we're back again today so we're going to try and get this place looking good. I think we've got just enough cuts in that you're going to really start to see a difference. Now, a lot of the difference will be late summer. But in comparison, I think it's going to, uh, it's going to shine up pretty good today. So we're going to get you all some footage. We're going to get this taken care of. we got a lot of work to do, so I ain't going to sit here and talk too much. But on that note, let's do it. Now, in the last video, these were all grown out. They were all over. I just trimmed these. But as you can see, they are, they're really thick. They are full of vines and weeds and all that. You can kind of see in the background some of the weeds sticking up still in the other one that I haven't trimmed. 
So basically what I'm doing is I'm just nipping the new growth and trying to cut these weeds and vines for now so that it looks good. Later in the year, we'll come through. I mean, this was not included in the service, but we are gonna come through and just start pulling this stuff out of there so that they stay looking good for longer. So, I got about a dozen more to go, plus a few more rows up there. We're gonna go ahead and get this knocked out. All right, so Haley's going through, cleaning up the mess, getting rid of all these clippings, all these vines, all these weeds. Uh, I just thought about what I said. So, I said this service wasn't included. Let me elaborate. The hedges and all, trimming of the hedges is included. What is not included on this particular account was beds and weeding. Now all these vines, these briars, uh, honeysuckle, it's just vines. It's a whole bunch of vines, it's weeds. All this stuff is down in the bottom. Weeds in the beds. You can sit here and cut weeds all day long. They ain't going nowhere. Until you get into the beds and get the beds underneath the hedges taken care of, you're gonna continuously have weeds. Now, these hedges look good. They could look better because weeds are gonna choke out part of these hedges internally and some externally. So you'll have gaps, you'll have low spots. Uh, there's a little bit on them, but it's not bad because I took them back so hard just a couple months ago, a month and a half ago, I guess. Yeah, about, about six weeks ago. So the greenery's come back. You see the outside? That was cut all the way into the stalks. Now you got green. That's the only reason we don't have big dips and low spots and all that. When I first cut them, man, there was holes. The whole roadside of those was just open. There wasn't a leaf one. I took them all the way into the branches. But <laughs> it was done correctly, so they are still growing. I didn't kill the hedges. Uh, but once again, I just wanted to throw that out there. I did not mean the hedges were not included. The weeds in the beds were not. So for now, we're just gonna do our best to keep them looking good. They've got an event coming up, so I'm making sure they are tight right now. Come winter time, we'll get in there. We'll get in there, we'll happen. We'll make it happen. Talk to the boss man about that. And by next season, they'll be perfect won't even look like the same hedges. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Let me get back to work before that boss goes to fussing. Let's do it.
All right, so as y'all can see, there's a little bit of trimming to do around this place. Uh, walk up here, I'll show y'all a little more. Cause that ain't all of it. Got all the crepe myrtles and all that up there. See the flagpole? The little brick walls where the signs are. There's lights in the ground all around that in the front of those. There's lights all out there. Some of them are recessed. Some of them are sticking up. Uh, the fences go all the way around. Just like you see over here. And way back there to the back. I don't know if y'all can see. I don't know if you can even see Haley back there. She made it way in the back mowing. Uh, but also everything on this side, the building, these hills, and all down the side, there's a big ditch. Uh, the drainage runs from the fields on that side, over here behind that white car, and actually goes under the building. Well, not quite the building, but the motor pool compound whatever that's called and drains under that and comes out on the other end of the property and some of it's just too steep to mow without tearing the ground up uh so all right let me hold on it's all turned around right there actually a piece of that got left because i'll mow it i'll get the mower facing downhill and just go carry the deck a little bit it won't scout uh Haley mowed that last time she got over there on this side of that culvert looked down and said nope gonna call me talking about hey you gotta come weed eat this no I don't you better give me that mower oh yeah she got a little scared but let me quit talking shit cause she's gonna see this so about two and a half hours in and about 90% of the trimming's done but got to go take care of some of the stuff in that motor pool so about another hour hour and a half and I should be on a mower hopefully it's about to head to the back and get up in there and get that done. Leave y'all with Haley. So we can get this stuff knocked out. Let's do it.
All right, now all the trim is done. We just took a quick lunch break. It is hot. I'm talking about that real deal southern dead of summer hot. Especially in these parking lots. It ain't nothing nice. But anyway, sure a lot of y'all know. You got to stay hydrated out here doing this type of work. I'll show you something. Liquid IVs. I just bought them in these little packs that you mix with the water. Uh, you could also get them in a probably 16, 20 ounce, something like that, 20 ounce bottles. They're way better in the bottles. But you talk about a lifesaver. One of these, ready to go. Ready to go. World of difference. So, Haley's back on a mower. I'm about to jump on this other mower. We're going to get this place mowed up. We got a lot of blowing to do. We got uh, we got to sweep that entire motor pool compound where I trimmed the concrete. All that stuff that got sprayed, I just came through and knocked it all down with the trimmer. Get it cleaned up. So, we're about to jump on it, get back to work, so we can get this place done. Let's do it.
We're done. Let me show y'all this. That's part of the other side of the property that y'all ain't seen yet. But, what is it? Nine hours later, we're through. I'm hot. I'm dehydrated. I'm tired. She's all the above and she's starting to get cranky. So, we go to the store, get us something to hydrate, and that's a wrap. We are done for the day. We got another long day tomorrow. So, on that note, if you like what you see and you ain't already done it, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we'll see you next time.